Thanks, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Housing. In question time on Tuesday, when the minister quoted the publication Domain, had he also read these domain stories? Home builder might be the most complex, least equitable construction jobs program ever devised, and home builder eight ways that $688 million could be better spent on housing to stimulate the economy. If this is what a real estate publication thinks of this scheme, isn't it time to rename it Home Blunder? The Minister for Housing and Assistant Treasurer has the call. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. The Shadow Minister uh, wants to bring out quotes. Well, I've got a lot of quotes for the Shadow Minister. The Shadow Minister and, indeed, the Shadow Treasurer on the day that they came out to criticise this policy said the Master Builders Association have criticised this policy. So relying on the Master Builders Association, which was a surprise to the Treasurer and the Prime Minister and I, because the head of the Master Builders Association was with us when we announced this policy. And indeed, I quote, said the following. Master Builders Australia believes that the federal government's announcement of the Home Builders Scheme today will be a massive relief to the thousands of home builders and tradies around the country. Are you listening, Shadow Minister? Again, Home Builder will be a lifeline for an industry facing a valley of death in the coming months. It will mean more new homes, more small businesses and jobs are protected, and provide a stronger bridge to the economic recovery of our country. And it goes on and on and on. In fact, I'll continue. I'll continue if we've got, got quotes. We've got a home builder, Jesse Zilke uh, from uh, Bundaberg, who said the following in response. On the first Saturday after the home builder was announced, on the first Saturday, the response that they had for their house and land packages meant, she said the following. We're gearing up. I've employed three people this week in various roles. I've been in contact with some subcontractors, suppliers, to make sure we can handle them. It's certainly going to be a boost locally to jobs uh, and the industry. It goes on and on. In the domain article that the minister, shadow minister referred to, in that domain article it referred to the fact that house and land packages throughout this country increased last Saturday by up to 70 per cent. Now, what do new home sales? What do new home sales mean? It means what I said earlier this week: the hundreds of thousands of jobs in the residential construction industry are protected. Yeah, yeah. Now, I know the shadow minister probably hasn't come across a tradie. He's been here a bit too long uh, in the halls of Canberra. But hundreds of thousands of tradies, carpenters on building sites. Bricklayers, electricians, plumbers, and in regional Australia, the timber mill workers who make the frames and trusses, the manufacturers who make the bricks and the glass and the tiles, those hundreds of thousands of jobs will be protected. We estimate 20,000 new homes, 7,000 substantial rebuilds. And those 20,000 new homes, we've also seen evidence, is overwhelmingly supporting new home buyers. So the Labor Party have opposed the first home super saver scheme. They have opposed the first home loan deposit scheme. Now they oppose Home Builder. The coalition is the party of home ownership in this country and residential construction jobs. Yeah.